Hi everybody, this is Bogus Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the NECA Ultimate Iron Maiden Number of the Beast Eddie figure. So before we take a look at Eddie, let's take a look at the accessories that he comes with. So first up, Eddie comes with this base for his right foot, and this looks really nice. It's got a little bit of texturing to it, the flame looks very nice. It's cast in translucent yellow plastic with some yellow paint over top of it, and some yellow shading there around the fire, that looks very nice. Up next, you get the fire for Eddie's left hand, and again, it looks very, very nice. That is a very cool effect piece. Up next, he comes with the severed devil's head to recreate the single artwork, and this looks phenomenal. NECA did a very awesome job on this. The tongue is textured very nicely. You get some pink painted over top of the red tongue right there. The yellow shading looks very nice. The face looks a little brown to me, though. It might just be a very, very dark red. I feel like there should have been a little bit of a brighter tone of red painted over top of the face. But other than that, that looks very nice. The hair is also sculpted very nicely and has some blue shading to it. And the blood dripping looks very nice. The blood actually goes in between each of Eddie's fingers. That way it stays on there. And that looks very nice. I'm glad you can actually recreate two pieces of artwork from Iron Maiden with this figure. That is very awesome. And finally, you get the devil and the base here. And this looks very nice. NECA did a phenomenal job on this. I do feel like the devil should have been a little bit of a brighter red color. They actually cast him in black and painted the red over top of it. And I feel like it should have been brighter based on the artwork. But other than that, this looks phenomenal. You get the river of lava right there. The fire looks very nice. The fire and the shading around it is the same that's on um, Eddie's base down here. But man, that looks really good. And this is insanely detailed. You can see the very little puppet Eddie right there. Even for this tiny puppet, it's painted very well. It's such a really small detail. I do wish they would have found a way to incorporate the strings from the puppet there onto the figure and onto the devil's back. That would have been very nice. The wings are done in this translucent black color with the lightning painted over top of it. It's supposed to, the wings are supposed to look like storm clouds with lightning. And that's really cool because you can see my finger through. And that looks really good. I could just really outdid themselves with this. This is so awesome. Uh, the pitchfork, it was very, very troublesome to get in his hand. Um, it is a very, very tight fit and I don't plan on taking that out anytime soon. And surprisingly, this actually has some articulation. The head is on a ball joint that can look down all the way. I wish it could look up just a little bit more, but that's a very minor complaint. The head can move side to side, and the wings can move back all the way, and move up and down like that. So, honestly, NECA didn't even have to articulate this, but they did. And this looks phenomenal. So now let's go ahead and take a closer look at Eddie. So taking a look at this head sculpt, NECA also did a phenomenal job on this as well. This looks just like Derek Griggs' artwork. It's uncanny how much it looks like it. Um, my only complaint would have been the shirt and the color on the devil because I feel like the shirt was a little bit more of a cream color than yellow, but that's, that's another small gripe. Other than that, this looks really nice. This head sculpt is very detailed. The attention to paint detail on this thing is crazy. You can see some tones of red, yellow, a little bit of light green and white. This just looks stunning. And the hair, the way that NECA did this hair is very smart. It's cast in a translucent plastic, and the underneath is painted in black, and it has white and tones of yellow painted over top of it. And that looks really good. I still can't get over how well this is sculpted and painted. It, it just looks phenomenal. Even the details on his neck and chest are sculpted and painted nicely. This is a soft overlay piece, so his torso is actually fully sculpted. And that is amazing. You get some really cool texturing to his skin there. With some very nice different tones of paint there. That looks really good. You can see that his claws are painted very nicely. Even his pants are sculpted very nicely. The way the wrinkles lay looks just like the artwork, and so does the shading here. That looks really good. He isn't articulated from the waist down except for the ankles. He's mostly just a statue here, but that really doesn't bother me, because he still stands really well. And then there you can see his shoes, sculpted and painted very nicely. The white lines for the laces there are painted very clean. I'm surprised at how crisp those lines are. And you get a black wash here at the bottom of the shoes, and that looks very nice. So now let's go ahead and go over Eddie's articulation. He has a ball jointed head that can look up just a little bit. 
he can look down just a little bit. He can move his head side to side. It's mainly meant to mimic the cover, so his head's meant to stay like that. But if you want to get him looking straight on, you actually can. And I forgot to mention that Neck actually sculpted and painted the fire there in his eyes. That is a very cool attention to detail. I forgot to mention that when I was going over the head sculpt. He has shoulders that can move all the way out. He has single jointed elbows that can bend all the way in. Swiveled wrist that can move side to side and up and down. Ball jointed diaphragm and waist that can move back that far. He can actually crunch forward a decent amount. That's some pretty good articulation right there. He can also move side to side up here and side to side down here at the waist very slightly. And he has ball jointed ankles that can move down all the way, up just a little bit, and move side to side. So essentially his articulation is an ultimate from the waist up and more of a statue from the waist down, which doesn't bother me because this looks really good. Honestly, NECA didn't even have to include all of this articulation on him, but they did, and I appreciate that. So overall, I would highly recommend picking this up because NECA did a phenomenal job on this. I'm blown away at how awesome this is. This is definitely a must-have if you're an Iron Maiden fan. I think NECA did an amazing job of capturing Derek Riggs' artwork in figure form. It just translated very well. So yeah, definitely don't miss out on this. This is a stunning release. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.